Hi, <laughs> welcome back to Trash Puppy, where I talk about coding and my coding journey. Um, today I'm super excited because I just finished the foundation section of the Odin project. So I actually have some projects that I can show now. Um, so yet again, I am recording on my phone taped to a tripod, but this time I've got OBS going. So we're going to switch it up and go over here now. Hi. <laughs> All right. So, um, in the foundation section of the Odin project, you get to do a bunch of little projects. And I've got a couple here that I want to show because I'm kind of proud of them. Um, there's some others I'm not going to really show. Like in the very beginning, you do a little um, recipe book that's just HTML. And mine is shitty, so I'm not going to show that. Uh, and then the landing page is another story that we'll get to towards the end. All right. So I'm going to start with rock, paper, scissors. And this is the first project where I got to use JavaScript. So the whole point was to try to learn um, JavaScript and tying it in with the HTML and CSS. And having done C, which is like the only language that I know anything, like probably about the same amount of, this was way more fun. I freaking love like making variables that tie to a whole other like coding language HTML I don't know it's so cool it's just blue but it blows my mind <laughs> okay I'm done <laughs> okay so rock paper scissors all right so you see I've got a little scoreboard you got the computer at zero player at zero and these are the player options these are all little pixel art gifts that I made too which was fun all right so I'm gonna start off with paper and the computer one Scissors, tie. So basically, whoever gets to five first wins. And you'll see in a second, oops, I freaking lost. So you get to play again. And maybe if I win this time, hey, I win. So that, that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, I did get a recommendation from a friend that said I should like, when you've chosen, oh, I didn't even notice that. When you've chosen one that these should like disappear so that whoever's playing knows that they can choose again and I didn't even think of that and I haven't gotten around to doing that yet and the thing I just noticed is that when the round ends the last options are still up so I got to fix that too <laughs> but anyways this one was fun um, the next one we did or I did uh, was edge a sketch so this project was all about DOM manipulation, and the idea is that when the page loads, you're loading a bunch of divs into the HTML through JavaScript instead of like, so, okay, this canvas is a bunch of divs, right? And that can be anywhere from 16 by 16 to 128 by 128 in size. So instead of writing out 128 divs in HTML, you just load the divs via the JavaScript based on the person's choice. So that's what you're supposed to learn with this project is DOM manipulation. Um, so mine's pretty basic. There's some other ones out there that are a little more, they got, you know, more bells and whistles than mine, but so you got red, blue, and black, and also rainbow. So if you choose the rainbow one, Basically, every time you mouse down or hold the mouse down over a div, uh, you change the background style to a random color, which is cool. And then there's eraser, which don't tell anybody is just white. <laughs> it doesn't erase anything. <laughs> um, you can reset the canvas. Obviously, you can change the size, and that's kind of fun. Oh, I'm still on eraser. Um, yeah. So when I was looking around at other people's projects, their backgrounds, you know, people go really ham with the CSS and I was not about to learn a bunch of CSS because I was so excited about JavaScript. So the background is just another instance of loading a bunch of divs via G uh, JavaScript. Um, you can't do anything with them. They're just going to remain, but I thought that was kind of fun. Another thing people were able to do 
is get like a little color chooser. I think it's an API. Like they basically imported somebody else's color picker. I don't know how to do that yet. It would be really cool to add, but for now, this is what you get. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one was really fun. I learned a lot. I'm kind of excited about making like a little pixel art program out of it because I feel like all the foundational stuff is there in this tiny program and one day maybe I could expand it and make something like like a little pixel art program because I freaking love pixel art. Okay, so that's that one. Um, next was calculator and calculator was freaking hard for me. It took me so long and to be honest, I had to watch some YouTube videos on this one because I just could not figure it out. But the whole point of the calculator was to learn JavaScript functions. And the way I did it, um, I watched a video of some dude who made it using a class. And in, technically in the Odin project, we haven't, or I haven't learned classes. They haven't gone over it yet, but that's what I use. So a class is essentially a blueprint for objects that you want to make. So instead of making a bunch of objects that are have the exact same attributes that just change up a little bit, you make a class which is like a blueprint that will fill in all the necessary like skeletal structure of whatever object you're trying to call. So anytime I don't really understand how mine works because <sighs> I, th I think a new calculator object is made every time it's cleared, right? So anyways, um, it does all the stuff you need your calculator to do. Multiplication, division, blah, blah, blah. You can delete numbers. You can clear the whole instance. Um, and then the coolest part, my favorite part, is this. So uh, the Odin Project said, that they wanted you to make a snarky comment if the user tries to divide by zero. So here's what I did, ready? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> That's my favorite part. All right, so yeah, this one was a lot of fun. I learned a lot, but it was tough. Like, this took me like three or four days straight, and I'm talking like four to eight hours a day, something crazy like that. Um, but I feel like I grew a lot, lots of growing pain. How about, we'll, we'll put it that way. So yeah, those are the major projects. Um, I did mention the landing page. So one of the first things that you do in the foundations part of um, the Odin project is you make a landing page and you do it just with HTML, CSS and based off of like a uh, template that they give you, you're supposed to try to match it. Um, so, that's what this is, this whole thing. But obviously this is like beyond the original requirements. So I took my landing page and the and the the home page is about as close as you can get to what it originally looked like. This is super updated from that, but I decided to take it and use it as a portfolio because in the end of the landing page, they teach you how to make oh god, I have so many of my own pages up. They teach you how to make a github.io. So with a github account, you can have one IO, which essentially means you can have one public website, like live website. Um, they'll grant like server space to you for that. So since, they, since the Odin project was uh, like teaching you how to do that, I decided to take my original landing page and turn it into this whole portfolio. So I actually just got done up dating it. It looks a little better. It's not like, you know, amazing, but it's better than it was. And that's what we're aiming for. So it has like a little about section. This is the only JavaScript I have in this page is this little <laughs> on mouse over function that um, takes my picture and makes it not pixelated anymore. I thought that was fun. Uh, I actually thought it was really cool. I'm super proud of that. <laughs> you guys saw the portfolio page. Um, I've also got a skills page. Ooh, so cool. Oh my God. Oh, I went to the portfolio again. Um, contact, another picture. Ooh, it's so fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, 
this is going to be like my live portfolio that I hope will help me get a job later on, right? Right now, it doesn't look great because it's just HTML and CSS and a tiny, tiny bit of JavaScript. But with this new section that I'm about to start with the Odin project, I know I'll be able to learn a lot more to make it more like beautiful, you know, where like whole parts of the page slide when you scroll and all that nice stuff. But for now, this is what we got. So yeah, um, we're turning over here now. So now that I've finished the foundations course, I'm going to go uh, on to the JavaScript section of the Odin project. And I think in the last video, I said something like, <laughs> they make you choose between back end and front end. And that was not true. And it wasn't Rust. They make, they have you choose either Ruby and Rails or JavaScript and Node. And both paths will teach you front end and back end. So I decided to continue with the JavaScript path because I'm really liking JavaScript. I don't know why, I just love it. So if I like it, I'm gonna do it, right? Um, so I'm really excited to start that. And I will be back hopefully in two weeks and hopefully with a couple more projects along that line. Uh, but for now, that's what I got. And thanks for stopping by. <laughs>